Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a video response to Deranged Pat, who in his last video insulted Islam and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The problem is that Pat has absolutely no room to talk about the social problems in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In his own country last year, there were more than 390,000 cases of domestic violence, and on top of that, there was more than 45,000 cases of sexual violence. I mean, imagine, every single time there's a rape in Saudi Arabia, we hear about it here in the United States. That's how rare rape is in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. That even if it happens once, we hear it in the United States. Another thing is, you said that women are live like in a prison or they live in like some sort of hell. Let me tell you something. In your country, your country, England and then Ireland, are ranked 5th and 8th in the highest levels of domestic violence per capita a year. So, what the hell are you talking about? Alright, the system seems barbaric, it seems old-fashioned, it seems like from a different time, but at least it works. At least it's working. I mean, what's the point of a government if it's not there to protect the people? Your government, you say, is there to protect the people, but I don't see any protection going on. Another thing I want to talk about is in your video, you talked about how Saudi Arabia is oil, and without oil, we go back to the deserts. First of all, let me tell you something. Saudis would love to go back to the desert. They're living the desert life, even with the oil well. The second thing I want to say about oil is that it's because of their oil, Pat, that you're able to speak English on this camera right now. Because the United States of America, using Saudi Arabian oil, defended your country against the Nazi invasion in World War II. So had it not been for Saudi Arabia's abundance in oil, you would be speaking German right now. So, again, you're more than indebted to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Another thing I want to talk about is who was, who were the English before, before the Arabs had all this technology? I mean, the reason why you're here on camera right now is because the Arabs, a few hundred years ago, created and perfected algebra. They were finding planets. While your ancestors were sitting there banging rocks together to make fire, the Arabs, the Muslims, they were inventing they were, they were removing cataracts from the eyes of people. They had running water. You guys were dying from rat feces. So who were you guys prior to the Arabs, prior to, you know, the Muslim um, enlightenment? Who were you guys? You guys were nothing. You guys were living in caves, eating raw meat. Who are you guys? Another thing, in your video you talked about how the king and the princes are living this lavish lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something about the king. The king of Saudi Arabia, Malik Abdullah, even if he is living that kind of lifestyle, he freaking deserves it. Because he's the only country in the world, with like a handful of the other Gulf countries, the only king to provide his people with free healthcare, free education from K to the PhD level, free, um, free infrastructure, and this is all without taxes. He's paying for all of this. So this is a king who deserves it any sort of benefit he gets from being the king. He, he, he deserves a life of, of, of extravagance. He deserves that. But your government takes money from the people of your country, and what does it do? It takes money from you and then it charges you to do things. To go to the hospital, to go to school, to do this, to do that. I mean, what's the point of your government, really? <laughs> the last thing I want to say to you, Pat, is that the kingdom of Saudi Arabia is not what anybody thinks it is. I've actually been there. I speak the language. I communicate with people. I communicate with Saudis. I mean, I question the fact that you've actually met a Saudi in your entire life. But I've been there. I've seen Saudi. I see at least 20 of them a day. And it's, when you learn about the culture, you learn to love it. But I mean, you're just sitting here trying to sell books, being insincere, selling an idea to ignorant people. And people are like, yeah, he's right. He's right. He's right. But you're completely wrong. And the idiots who support you are, are wrong too. You guys don't know anything about the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Who are you guys to talk about? And the very, very last thing I want to say, Pat, is that I swear to God, this is how cheap you guys are, okay? Is that if the king of Saudi Arabia, Malik Abdullah bin Abdelaziz, just showed you like 2,000 British pounds, you're going to shut the hell up and you're going to make videos in praise of him. You're going to say, long live King Abdullah. He gave me this much money. May God extend his life. I swear to God, this is... this. This is how cheap you guys are. You guys say one thing one day, and then the next day you guys say something completely different. Completely different. So I don't know why anybody, any of your subscribers, any of your viewers, would believe anything that you say. 
Because everything you guys do is for money. Assalamu alaikum wa tala wa barakatuh. But so wait till the makta hada and the shai bil aib. Ashan oh mukh kila mara fadi. Bajad bidum saifa. Or but sit kalam an Saudiya ashan kida nasi hbom. Ala shai zay kiba zay sub al dawla sub al hukum sub al muslimi sub al malik. هذا هو الموضع عليه في الغرب ما ليش جايز هذا الرجال فضحت لي ترى <تصفيق> ما ليش ما ليش في القوة بس ودي أسلم عليكم الله يرضى عليكم الله يعطيكم كلكم العافية والله يوفق أرضنا السعودية <تصفيق> Thank you.